Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in the last episode! We fought an Imposter of Justy after fighting six Imposters of an Imposter of Justy! It makes more sense if you actually watch the video, trust me, it's not as, it's not as complicated as it sounds. <laughs> anyway, in this episode, at long last, we are entering the world-famous Coliseum, or rather, um, Stadium. Yeah, the Fenac Stadium feels like it's special, and like it doesn't deserve to be called the Coliseum, though, but it's like, Coliseum feels more grand, and you know what? This is a grand place. You deserve to be called the Coliseum, as you do. Uh, it's all so pretty. I haven't commented how pretty this place is again in a while. Then again, I guess I haven't really commented at all periods since we got here, because uh, this area is so pretty. In fact, if you thought Fenex uh, Coliseum was uh, pretty before, look at this. We get a whole new view on this place. Oh, hi, little boy. Did anyone tell you to stay out? This is never going to end. This is what, like, our 12th important trainer battle in Fenex City? Who knew this area was so big on battles? I mean, in Coliseum, what, you had, like, three? It's, it's nuts. Anyway, though, uh, starting this off, uh, I switch out to Jolty on here because I'm like, oh, he's got Pelipper out, or she's got Pelipper out. You know, it'll be great attacking that with Thundershot. Nope, Electric has Lightning Rod. Uh, of course, I don't see it coming. It takes it out nonetheless. Anyway, writer note, Spearow is an excellent shadow Pokemon right here. It's a nice and easy catch, and it's holding the Sharp Beak item, so if you're planning on raising a flying type of any kind, you should definitely catch this if you want that item. Not only that, but its starting moves are pretty darn good. Baton Pass, False Swipe, and Aerial Ice. Not to mention the fact that it'll evolve the first time it levels up after you get it. Not bad. It's not the fastest flying type you'll find, but it's still pretty darn fast uh, if you want to get a faster Pokemon. Yeah, does it for Spiro. On to the next battle, Faultly. I feel like I can make fun of your name somehow, but nothing's coming to mind right at the minute. I'm probably going to think of like 10,000 of them while I'm editing this. And you guys will probably think of even more in the comments. Alright, Stantler, I recall having... Yeah, it's actually decently bulky against special attack if I recall correctly and it took both those attacks like a champ uh, shouldn't survive this turn though I should be perfectly fine if I recall correctly if this is post commentated like all sped up portions are okay got a level on both Pokemon awesome Grimer is his shadow Pokemon this is one of my I guess more favorite poison types it comes with sludge bomb which is an excellent move starting out um, Grimer, even though its stats would not have you thinking it prior to its evolution, once it evolves into Muck, it becomes pretty good at standing up to special attacks. The only real problems with this, though, one is that you're going to be waiting a long time for it to evolve. A long time. The other thing is, as you can see, both of its abilities do absolutely nothing in XD. Uh, Stench is meant to repel wild Pokemon that has no effect here because you encounter Pokemon differently. Not only that, but Sticky Hold, uh, the attacks like Thief work differently in XD, and they don't have their added effect, so yeah, it doesn't work. Alright, took care of this. Seems like there are no other people around here. Seems like there are no other peons around here. I almost called them people. I don't want to call them people, as they are just lowly peons. They are but tools to cipher. Anyway, you can actually freely walk around the Coliseum, which you could not do before, and there are some item boxes. A Water Stone. So, you can use that. I don't know if we... Have we come into contact with anything besides uh, Eevee, obviously, that needs the Water Stone to evolve? I don't think that we have. So, I guess that could be important a little bit later if you're using a Pokemon that needs to evolve through that method. Nice and easy on you, I gotta say that much. Um, I know that we had a Shadow Seed up, but I don't think that we had a Shadow Lowe's Hat or a Lombre. Uh, we have a PP up. That'd be kind of nice. I might want to use that on my Blizzard, actually, or on some other move like that that doesn't have all that much PP. And I'm wanting to say that's it. One more! TM13, what is that? I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm wanting to say it's like, detect or something? Uh, no, not even close. Ice Beam, holy crap, how did I not know that? You know, some people might view this as redundant because I already have Blizzard though, but I just kind of feel like I would use Ice Beam and Blizzard in different situations because I can't rely on Blizzard too much as it does miss fairly often. It's meant for attacking both opponents, whereas Ice Beam has more VP and is more reliable. I don't mind having multiple moves of the same type in single player. In multiplayer, it definitely would matter though, but in single player, I don't really feel like my slots are precious enough for that. Uh, aside from that also, Sveal will never learn Ice Beam naturally and it doesn't come with it, so this is an attack that I won't get unless I teach it via TM. Not only that, but just the fact that TMs are infinite use in modern day games, and if you transfer them up, you really don't have any reason to keep your TMs in older games, just because they're kind of infinite use now. So yeah, teaching Ice Beam. Now, this is going to sound like a weird place in the video to put this, but I assessed my team and ultimately deemed them just not strong enough to take on what we got coming up. So, in a moment like this, I suggest that you go to Mount Battle if you are having trouble. I know, I hate Mount Battle too, but it really is the best place to get experience quickly. Granted, Areas 1 and 2 are a joke, but Area 3 will get you some nice stuff, and it will also, you know, it, it'll also get you some pretty nice experience. Now, 
Uh, while I was off my battle, Gene found me another Ultra Ball. Pretty cool, right? Well, less cool than that is the fact that doing Area 1, that's 10 battles, nets you 200 Poke Coupons. For completing that one bingo card, which took a fraction of a video, I got 250 Poke Coupons. So, that kind of just gives you an idea of how much that sucks. But uh, on a brighter note, check it out! Jepson's been pumping iron! Look at how buffy he is now! Okay, no, that's not Josh Jepson. It's actually Jespin. But when I first read it, I thought it said Jepson, and I was laughing so hard. But actually, it sounds kind of like Chespin now that I think of it. Oh, well, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, though, for doing Mount Battle, I was able to get some items that I want to share with you. For completing Area 1, you get a Macho Brace. This will lower your speed, but it will double the effort values earned from battle. I think you're better off looking up a guide for what effort values actually are, rather than me trying to explain it in commentary, just because they're not really that important in XD, just because you don't have a lot of control over a lot of factors in what in getting your Pokemon. Unless you really want, unless you really want to EV train stuff, I kind of recommend you trade them to other games, because there's much better options for EV train than the Macho Brace nowadays. Um, in addition to that, I got the TM for Water Pulse. I am going to be getting rid of Water Gun on uh, Sveal in favor of Water Pulse. You can all see what my team levels are right now, by the way. Um, just because Water Gun, it's 40 power, this is 60 power, and it has a chance of confusion, it's much better. I gotta say, Sveal's getting powerful. I just wish it would evolve, though, because it's kind of just falling behind on stats. Um, okay. I also got the Shockwave TM, which I am totally cool with replacing Thunder Shock with a much more powerful attack. If I'm not mistaken, this isn't as good as Thunderbolt, but it's at least decent enough. Okay, so it's 60 power, never misses, 40 power, 100 accuracy, so that's a lot better. There we go. So going up here, I recommend that you have Pokemon that can stand up against Water-type attacks. Let's go. Check it out, it's Miss Clown Shoes herself from Pyrite Town. How does she How does she run on those things, man? I got like size 13 feet, and I couldn't imagine running in shoes that floppy. Forget it, you can't have our videotapes. You can't do this to the press. For a prisoner, you're rather hard-nosed, I must say. But it just wouldn't do to have those tapes broadcast to the public. I have been promised the position of Ori's governor by none other than Master Greville. So you must understand, it wouldn't do to have it be known that I have muzzled the citizens of Fennec. If that got out, imagine what harm it would bring to my pristine po political record. Now, hand over the videotapes, please. I don't care about your sick aspirations. Don't you dare underestimate the power of the free press! Oh, and BS stakes its very existence on delivering truth for justice. I will get the news out! You better watch out, she's probably gonna kick you in the face with those gigantic floppy shoes of hers. It's so sad you won't listen to reason. Very well, I suppose you leave him with no other option. Oh, you! Are you the dastardly child who won't stop fooling in our affairs? I prefer the term meddling in affairs, thank you very much. Eggrog? This guy's name is Eggrog? It's like one letter away from being Eggnog. <laughs> I get to make fun of this guy's name before I even battle him. Hey, boy, playtime is over. Ooh, we got a badass on our hands. He says generic villain quotes at us. All right, so this battle against Agrog. This is not really a boss per se, but I do find this a little bit more challenging than normal. Starting out with Hoot Hoot and Gravel, I'm not going to go over moves just because this isn't really a proper boss fight. And we got this awesome backdrop of Fennec Stadium behind us. I don't think I've actually praised that yet, though, but yes, I love the look of Fennec Stadium and just how it goes off in the distance and all that. Oh, it's all so pretty. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go take down and hoot hoot, and I'm gonna try out my newly learned water pulse on that graveler. I feel almost sorry for that thing. Okay, please attack Aron, that'd be hilarious. Yes, one damage! Uh, Aron, you keep coming through for me, man. Uh, what am I saying? I don't even call him his name. Billy Bob, you keep coming through for me. I love you. All right, take down that hoot hoot. Whoa! Damn, oh no. Uh, well, crap. Didn't see that coming. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna outpredict that he's gonna be attacking Billy Bob, so I'm gonna go for Protect, and, um... We saw that, uh, Sveal moved last night, last turn, so I'm gonna hope that it's not a speed type. For those that don't know, if Pokémon have equal speed, it's random who goes first. So that's really the only situation in which my strategy could not work. It's going for Dig. Yep, I was exactly right not predicting him. I've still only taken one damage on the second turn of this fight. Go! If it survives this, yeah. <laughs> There we go. I was about to say, like, I'd eat my hat or something like that, but you know what? Back in Kirby's Epic and I said I would eat a giant three-eyed blob of yarn if something happened, and it actually did. I probably better get on that. Uh, really quick, I do want to bring some, um... Next up, we got Gulpin. I... Sorry, I actually got, like, uh, distracted right there, so sorry about me saying, like, I had to bring something up. Thing is, uh, there is something that I want to bring up, though, that I'm actually about to get a really good opportunity to just bring it up anyway, because of something that's about to happen, though, so I don't really see the need to do that. 
let's go, uh, let's go Ice Beam. All right. Hoot Hoot, you're using Peck. Are you going to stupidly do it on... Yep, one damage twice in one fight. Uh, I, I love this. I really do. I, like, only ever... Oh, my God, Pound. Is it going to be... Dude, you are an idiot! This is the third time this fight. Second time this turn. Both of your attacks did one damage to Aron. Are you... <laughs> this guy is an idiot. To this... This guy's the right-hand man to this guy, man? Like, just... Man, if this is like their assistance, I got nothing to worry about. Okay, let's go, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go, uh, take down again, hopefully have that work. Actually, no, I'll go Metal Claw because I don't want to waste too much PP. Uh, we'll go, uh, what has more PP? Water Pulse. Yeah, we'll go for that. Okay. Facade. Good thing it's not confused or anything like that. Hey, wow, it actually attacked the right choice. I, I'm proud of you. You're like, oh, God, I didn't know it had that crap. Uh, well... Uh, oh, it didn't do as much as I thought. Okay. I'm a little bit... Oh, come on! Stop missing! Anyway, though, that aside, the thing that I really wanted to talk about a few moments ago, I don't want to spoil things, but just warning you, you don't want to get too weak in this battle. That's why I've been playing this very safe, because... Well, you'll see. You just don't want to get weak in this battle. Uh, Seal is a Shadow Pokemon. When this evolves, it becomes a water ice type, much like my Sphiel. If you want my personal opinion on Seal versus Sphiel, besides the fact that one just has a really awkward sounding sound at the beginning of it, um, Sphiel I think is better in terms of stats. So the final evolution of Sphiel I feel is better than Dugong. Now, that being said, I don't think Seal is necessarily a bad choice. Even though I think stats wise my Sphiel is better, this one comes knowing Surf, which my Sphiel can never get in this game. So, for those of you that wanted to get something like that, I can definitely recommend this Pokemon if you want something that knows Surf, as there are limited options. And having Surf in a game full of double battles is absolutely fantastic. So, if Sphiel didn't answer what you wanted, but you still didn't really mind the typing, you might find what you're looking for in Seal. I don't normally recommend it in Pokemon games, but here, can't argue with it naturally knowing Surf, and even if you don't plan on raising it, it naturally comes with the Mystic Water equipped to it, which is great for any Water-type Pokemon, so... If you plan on raising any water Pokemon, you should catch it regardless if you're going for 100%. Here we go! One damage again! Dude, that is four times in one... Okay, I would start counting this if I... You know, I was not counting how often that happened before. Like, I really was not counting that before, though, so I'm kind of, like, behind the counter. If somebody wants to do that for me and could provide conclusive proof, I'd gladly start counting it, though. But, dude, like, I kind of wa wish I started counting it now. Like, I wasn't going to reuse a joke from Ms. Drevis, though, but... I kind of want to, not really to reuse jokes, but just to kind of have my curiosity answered because I'm starting to get kind of full of wonder about this whole thing again just because it's happening just so often. It's kind of funny. Uh, great ball. So we'll go for that. And uh, I am going to use a potion. Uh, probably a super potion, actually. Let's see. I got eight of these things, and I haven't even purchased one in the game yet. You bet I'll use one. Okay. So let's see if I can get the catch this turn, and if I can end this fight at nearly full health. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, man. Oh, sorry if I'm getting loud a lot this video, though, but I just have been having the best luck. I've been having the time of my life this video, not going to lie. Things have been going awesome for me. Oh, no. He just snaps his fingers. Damn, this guy was rich. Hey, he had 1080 Poké Dollars to give me. That means he had $1 for every pixel in height that I'm rendering this video at. Okay, now it's stupid. That was stunning. That footage should be electrifying. Cam Cameron. His name is Cameron. Cameron. Cameraman. Really? Did you get that on tape? S sorry, but you can't expect me to keep filming under these conditions. Oh, for this is precisely the time your camera should be rolling. Show some journalistic guts. Cut, cut. If Master Grievel were to see this, he would be most displeased. I have no mercy for anyone in my way, even for a child like you. You answer to me now. 